So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And our live game is Palmeiras against Flamengo. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. And may I say a big hello to everyone. Palmeiras have elected to go 4-3-3. Well, in this formation, the white players can be the most attacking and sometimes a pair of extra fullbacks. the whistle and here we go some excellent tackling here and that one a perfect example comes sliding in aimed low and direct I have to say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks He's been bundled over, that is a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he has to change his ways or this referee could soon change his status. So what's he planning here? Played out to the right. He's left his man. Has a hit. It's in. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Palmeiras break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And the shot! So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. He's had a go! Same again, same outcome. Palmeiras really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Challenge, but well within the laws. He's one on. He'll have a dip. It's anyone's ball. Crossed in. It's bounced out. I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. There's the end of the first half. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. 
I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Palmeiras, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Palmeiras carry a one goal lead into the second half. Tries a through ball, going through, going for goal! That's gone a long way up and away. Oh, real chance! Can he finish? They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Cuts it out. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Now the pass. Oh, that is lovely footwork. In for a header. It's broken loose. Here it is now, surely. Over to the left. Plenty waiting in the middle. And the header. Well, I think most teams would be content with a narrow half-time lead, but... Not this one, it seems. Out wide to the right. Big chance! Oh, that could cost them. It looked like he got a bit anxious there when the pressure was on. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Is it in? Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. And there's a lot more to read into this game than just the scoreline. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.